Bismillah, walhamdulillah, wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah. La ilaha illa Allah, Muhammadur Rasulullah. To Allah, the Lord of the universe, we ask Allah to raise the rank of our master Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we ask Allah to protect the nation of the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam from that which he feared for it. I bear witness that no one deserves to be worshipped except Allah and that Muhammad alayhi salatu wa salam is the messenger of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. Thereafter know that subhanallah times are changing and we know from the hadith of the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam that many difficult times were from his time to come in the future because he foretold about that because it was revealed to him. So subhanallah, I want to read something saying of a, uh, or a few sayings of a scholar uh, known as Muhammad ibn Yusuf as-Sanusi. Now as-Sanusi, rahimahullah, he was a mujtahid scholar. He was a, a Moroccan scholar, a Maghribi scholar, and he was someone who was well known for ilmul kalam, for mm -hmm. using intellectual proofs and for refuting people of misguidance. He has a few books, Ummul Barahin, Al Aqidatu Al Sughra, uh, Al Wusta, Al, al Kubra, uh, Aqidatu Ahl Al Tawheed, and so on. He, is, he was a Sunni scholar and he lived in the 9th century. So it, he died approximately. Uh, in the year 895. So now it's, <clears throat> we're in the 1400s. He died in 895, so about, about 600-ish years ago. He said, subhanallah, look at how much fasad there was even in his time. Okay, about 600 years ago. He said, waqal, قَالَ أَبُوْ عَبْدِ اللَّهِ بْنِ الْحَاجِ This is a scholar. فِي زَمَانِهِ So a Sanusi is saying that there is a scholar uh, who is called Abu Abdullah ibn al-Hajj. He said in his time, in which there was a lot of good, he said, لَا نَعْرِفُ الْعُقَلَاءِ مِنْ كَثْرَةِ الْحَمْقَاءِ He said, we do not know the people who are intelligent and upright, many of them, we do not know them because of the great amount of people who are stupid, literally. He said, لا نعرف العقلاء. We don't know the uqala, like the ones that have the aql, those that are intelligent people. Why? Why don't we know who they are? من كثرة الحمقى. Because of the great amount of uh, idiotic people and he was talking about those times and now as sanusi brings it back to, to brings it forward uh, to his time which was in the ninth century about 600 years ago and he says as for today then the matter this uh, tribulation it is even more generalized generalized and the distress uh, and and the the anxiety it has become more extreme. Illa al al nadir, except for the fair few. وقد كان سيدي أبو محمد يعني ابن أبي جمرة. He said that Ibn Abi Jamrah, who is buried in Egypt, and he was the one who summarized. Uh, rather, he took Sahih Muslim and Sahih al Bukhari. And looked at a hadith that they, they did not mention, but they were according to their conditions in terms of authenticity. And he has a mukhtasar known as Mukhtasar ibn Abi Jamra. As Sanusi says that Ibn Abi Jamra said, Lawla anna nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qala la tazalu ta'ifatun min hadhi al-ummati qa'imatan ala amrillah. He said, had it not been the case that the Prophet ﷺ said that there will always remain a group of Muslims. Some scholars said this is the awliya. He said, had it not been the case that the Prophet said ﷺ, that there will always remain on the earth a group of Muslims who are pious, and who forbid 
the evil and they bid the lawful. And these people are not harmed by those who oppose them until the fragrance comes and takes the Muslim souls. These people would remain on the earth until this happens, there will always be a group of people who are warning against that those things that are evil and urging people to do good. So this scholar said, as Sanusi mentions, that Ibn Abi Jamra said that the Prophet, had he not said this, insanu fi zaman min an yajida ahadan minhum. Had the Prophet not said that, which he did, had he not said that, then one of us, he says, would have become very pessimistic about and not hopeful about finding one of these people in a time such as ours. And he's saying this 600 years ago. He said, So this pessimism, this unhopefulness, this despair that one of us would feel, it is erased because of the hadith. The prophet mentioned it, so it's going to happen. He said, oh, come on, or like the Prophet والسلام, said, he said, Lakin hum fil qillati bi haythu la yu'rafun. As Sanusi said, but these people who are pious and these people who protect the religion, he said, they are rare, such that sometimes they go unknown. So he said, Fatuba, glad tidings. Liman arafa wahidan minhum. To the one who knows one of these people. Like Shaykh Abdullah radiallahu anhu. That's me saying. As Sanusi said, Fatuba liman arafa wahidan minhum. Congratulations, glad tidings. What a good thing it is for any amongst you who knows one of these people. Oh, ra'ahu bi'ayni ta'zim, or even saw such a person. And looked at him with honor. فَهُمُ الْقَوْمُ الَّذِينَ لَا يَشْقَى بِهِمْ جَلِيسُهُمْ For these are the people who, literally, you don't get bored of sitting with. These are people who are blessed. These are people who are honorable. These are people who you would want to stay with. Then he says, فَنَسْأَلُ اللَّهَ تَعَالَىٰ أَلَّا يَحْرِمَنَا بَرَكَاتِهِمْ بِمَنِّهِ and we ask Allah, by the generosity of Allah, we ask Allah not to prevent us from being with such people. He said, and remember this was 600 years ago. As Sanusi says, هذا ما قاله الأئمة الأعلام في زماناتهم الفاضلة الزاهرة بوجودهم. This is what the scholars said. The, the great scholars said in their prosperous and fruitful times. This is what they said. And, and he said these times were prosperous, fruitful and blossoming because of the presence of those scholars and those who are like them from amongst the masters of the ulama and so on. Subhanallah. So this shows that, look, even all that time ago, these people like as Sanusi, they felt that the world is getting much worse. Look what he says here. He says, لكن مثل هذا وأكثر منه لا يستغرب في هذا الزمان. He mentioned some things and he said, but this is not strange in our times. This is not something strange in our times. في هذا في هذا الزمان الذي نحن فيه وهو أواخر القرن التاسع. He said, in the times that we are living in, these bad things that I've mentioned, they are not strange. In these times that we are living in, and he said, which is the end of the ninth century, so 800 and onwards. Think about it. He said that about 600 years ago. And then he describes the time. He says, There's a hadith in which it says that a time will come in the future where the evil, the bad, the sinful things will be made out to be something good. And the good things will be made out to be something bad. So he says in his time, he says, this time is a time in which good seems to be in the eyes of people, bad and bad seems to be good.
He said, وَاتَّسَعَ الْخَرْقُ فِيهِ جِدًّا عَلَى الرَّاقِعَ He said, they have an example, they have a like a proverb in Arabic where they say that if you have a rip, a hole in your clothing, where do you go? You go to the tailor so you can patch it up. He's saying, but even for the tailor, this time it's so bad that he's living in 600 years ago. He said, it's so bad. People are doing so much haram and it's so bad that this, this, Tear in the clothing, it's too big, it's too wide, even for the tailor to fix it. He said, uh, uh, Subhanallah. As Sanusi, in this book and in other books, he focused on teaching people about creed. They're all about creed. Very honorable, uh, as Sanusi was, teaching people about. The creed of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, teaching them about Allah. He mentions that people need to learn the intellectual proofs because this is a strength for them. This is what the Quran agrees with. So they need to learn the intellectual proofs. Why is it, for example, that we say that Allah is not like the creation? Yes, as well as it being mentioned in the Quran, intellectually, let's follow it through logically, rationally. And he mentions these things and he argues against those people. He gives, and he's a scholar. He was a mujtahid scholar. A mujtahid meaning what? Like a shafi'i, like Abu Hanifa radiyallahu anhu, like Muhammad ibn al-Hasan al-Shaybani, and like Abu Yusuf al-Qadi radiyallahu anhum ajma'in. Likewise, like Al-Imam Malik. He was a mujtahid scholar. And he refuted those people that said, for example, that, oh, why are you teaching people intellectual proofs? Why are you teaching you know, people these things, their minds? No, Allah Ta'ala granted us the intellect so that we could use it, so that we could use it to think rationally and logically in accordance with the rules of the religion and to prove to people that what we are upon is the truth. We're on clear proof. And all of these matters that we believe in with regards to the cause of belief, the attributes of Allah and the attributes of the prophets, they don't go against the mind. So this is one example of a scholar who lived 600 years ago. And he said that their time, he said that that time was a very difficult time. Subhanallah. So what about today? The Prophet والسلام, mentioned that a time would come that the one holding on to the rules of the religion will be like a person holding on to a burning coal. It's not easy holding on to a burning coal. Like this, a person trying to implement the rules of the religion, staying away from haram, it's going to be hard for him. It's going to be hard for him. So subhanallah, we read, we listen, and we consider. We'll stop there today, inshallah ta'ala. Walhamdulillah, was salatu was salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammad Rasulillah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.